Today, I'm going undercover to start my own 5MRP server and to try and grow it bigger than NoPixel. All without any help from my community, let's see if it's really that easy. First things first, we've got to get a name for our 5MRP server. And it's actually not got to suck. It's got to be something you want to see on the 5M list and actually click on it and join it. So I thought I'd enlist the help of pretty much everyone's favorite thing in the world right now, ChatGPT. So I've just asked it a simple question. Give me some 5M RP server names inspired by NoPixel, pretty much the biggest 5M RP server out there at the minute. And we're going to see what it can give us here. Here is some 5M RP server names. We've got Urban Pulse RP, Echo City Roleplay. There's quite a few here, actually. I don't know if I'm feeling any of these. Maybe... Okay, so I think I've found the one here. It's literally the very last one. I tried a bunch of times and none of them seemed really that good. I'm going to pick this one right here, Skybound Society. That is going to be the name of our RP server. Seems good, and for sure, we can just call it Skybound. So it seems like a Minecraft server name, but I think it's also a good one for 5M. Okay, so of course, we're going to need to grab ourselves a logo for our 5M server. We're going to need a logo for our Discord, for the actual 5M server icon on the server list, and in general, just a brand image. So I did a quick Google and I found a website that's actually really cool. This isn't sponsored at all. I've only just come across this, AILogoMaker.io. And I just gave it a prompt here and it seems to have actually generated a really, really cool logo. For some reason, when I try to download the logo, it doesn't want to work. But instead, I can just right click, copy image or save the image and just download it. I believe there is a tiny little watermark right here, but you can hardly see it. And I'm probably just going to Photoshop it out in Photoshop definitely legal i can guarantee you that one but this is actually a really really cool place and if you want to make a 5m logo really quickly it's pretty simple and easy to do so next up on our list because we're making a 5m rp server we're actually going to need to get ourselves a server host if i ran this on my own pc it's probably not the best idea you guys are going to get my ip and you're going to ddos me so i'm going to be using my company htnetwork.1 to grab ourselves some server hosting just right here i'm going to go into server hosting and if I look here, we've got our Gameflex plans, which works for all game servers. And because this is a new community, we're only going to get the cheapest one right now because this supports already 40 to 60 players. So I'm just going to order this, check out now, so we can get our 5M server going. Okay, so just like that, I've got myself a Gameflex one plan from HTNetwork.1, and we've got a VPS to run our 5M server on. So I'm just going to connect to it real quick, and let's actually get our 5M server set up. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's going to connect here using the remote desktop to our VPS. And we can actually get our 5M server going. Okay, here we go. We're on the VPS. So the first steps we're going to want to do is actually make the 5M server. So I'm just going to call it the name of our 5M server to make it nice and easy. Boom. And let's open this on up. You guys all know how to create a 5M server. Let's just skip through all of this. Okay, boom, I made ourselves a cfx.re account for our 5M community. We can also use the email that I made, probably for our Discord server, some support needs if needed. We're gonna hit continue and we're gonna actually launch TX Admin and let's set up our 5M server. First things first, we're gonna select our server name. So sit next and of course, we're gonna go with Skybound Society. Nice and simple, we don't want anything else. That is the name of our 5M server. We wanna be able to find it on the 5M server list. Next, popular templates, we're gonna go because we're sort of doing a no pixel style, we could go ESX Legacy, which is going to take us absolutely ages to set up a 5M RP server. But instead, we're going to go with Cubicore. It's a little bit more set up out of the box. It's already got phones and inventories and stuff. We're going to go with this one, probably a bit easier to get us up and going straight away. And we can always change, maybe make a new server in the future. Okay, and we're done. Our 5M server is made, but it's pretty basic right now. So of course, we're going to need to get ourselves some mods so people will actually want to join our server. If we had a basic Cubicore server, I'm pretty sure no one will want to join. So the best place for this, as far as I am aware, is just using the 5M forums. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the first one I found is this really, really cool free phone mod. It actually looks pretty good for being free. We don't really want to spend tons of money on a 5M server if we just made it. A lot of people will know you probably need to pour tons of money into a 5M server for it to actually be good. But I'm going to put that to the test right now. We're going to use as many free mods as we can. First of all, EF phone. Let's get this installed and put into our 5M server. Okay, so we've installed the phone screen. It's actually pretty simple to do, just importing a database. Really not too difficult. It took literally maybe like five minutes to do and it's done and it is running. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and find as many NoPixel inspired scripts as possible. Basically, BTEC rip off NoPixel and try and get some players into it that probably can't get into NoPixel.
Okay, so now I'm going to install us some emotes and some coding menus. These are pretty cool and pretty awesome, actually, and something that I've pretty much seen across all servers. So I thought we'd get them in here. Let's get some players in, some pretty cool features, right? So we're going to be installing DP clothing and DP emotes. DP clothing lets you take your hats on and off using a menu and like your tops and t-shirts and things like that. It's actually pretty cool. And DP emotes, probably pretty essential. You guys see it on probably every single Twitch streamer who plays 5M using emotes. It's pretty essential. So we're going to install both of these in a couple of seconds. Okay, so next, probably the most essential one. We don't want a basic loading screen. If you're joining the 5M server and you had a basic loading screen, everyone's going to leave. Like, that's going to be pretty pointless. So I found probably the first one that came up from Google, Apollo loading screen. We can use our own music, our own videos, and add our own logo, which is pretty important. So I'm going to do that now. We're going to download this. It's going to add our logo, add our server name. Should be pretty easy. Okay, so we've added our own loading screen. This should be probably one of the best things ever to have done to a 5M server is having your own loading screen. I've added our own logo in here. If we go into the HTML folder and I think assets and we look in here, you guys can see we've got the Skybound Society logo. Now the next thing, we're gonna need some custom cards. If you load into a 5M server, you haven't got any custom cards, that's pretty dead. And we don't want just five or just 10 and adding custom cards takes absolutely ages. So to get a bunch of custom cards all in one go, I'm going to use one of the HG Network auto install packages. Okay, so back onto the HG Network website, go to 5M packages, and we're going to grab ourselves the correct 5M package. We're not going to use all the features because I wanted to build my server up a little bit, be a little bit more realistic, but I do want to get the 110 plus custom vehicles and 80 plus law friendly vehicles for our server. So I'm just going to get ourselves the QB Core Platinum Pro package. We're going to order now and let's get it into our 5M server. Okay, so I've set up the package and what we're gonna wanna do, scroll on down and let's grab the vehicles that we want. So we want some police vehicles and we we'll go through here and we're gonna automatically install our police vehicles. So I finished auto installing our vehicles and I also installed a script here which is pretty useful if we go inside of the car scripts folder LVC which is basically like a lighting control system so it gives us a bit more of a realistic one for anyone who plays police on the server but pretty much all the vehicles have been auto installed using the HG network package it literally took a couple of seconds super easy and great way to set up a 5M server but I'm pretty sure now the best thing to do before we do anything else is actually get in the 5M server and see what it's like because if it's bad no one's going to join. Okay, so let's actually join this 5M server and see this masterpiece that we have created. Let's press F8. Let's direct connect by typing connect and then the IP. There we guys go. We're joining Skybound Society. Hopefully our loading screen should come up here. You can see we're downloading all of our custom mods. There's the loading screen. Let's see if it works. There you guys go. We've got the logo. We've got the loading screen. It could probably do a little bit of work. Maybe we can get a transparent logo, be a bit better. It's better than nothing. This is pretty cool and it's literally only taken us maybe about an hour to set up this 5M server. And boom, look at this. We've got a custom no pixel inspired multi-character, which I found on the 5M forums for free. I've made a character right here and we can select the character and we can hit spawn. It goes in this really cool opposite, which is actually really nice. Hit spawn here. And we should see this custom spawn screen that I found as well. This is really, really cool. We're going to pick the spawn location. We'll spawn at we'll spawn at this place right here. And there you guys go. We are in the server. We can see we've got like our HUD, our hunger, our health, how much water we need to drink. We should also, if I press tab here, there we guys go. We've got our custom inventory here as well. It's actually really, really cool, especially for how long it took us to set up this 5M server. I reckon if we put a little bit more time into this, we should be able to pretty much rival no pixel. Also, using the HG Network application, I installed some custom map mods. You guys can see here, we've got a burger shot map mod. We should be able to go inside of it as well. You guys can see from here already, this looks absolutely awesome. And if we pause the map here, we should be able to see all of these things on the map. We've got like a drug dealer and everything here. We've got a black market script, I think. Yeah, this is this is good. I think there's one more step we need to do 
to actually get our 5M server out there and see if we can get some people to join. Okay, so I think the next crucial step is actually getting a Discord server set up. This is probably one of the most crucial things for a 5M server. Every 5M server needs a Discord. So I thought I'd just use a Discord template, pretty simple and easy. Just hopped on Google, search for Discord templates and use the first website that came up, search 5M, and then I just used the first template that came up right here. And you just use it and then you should be able to create a 5M server. You guys can see I've already named it. I put our 5M logo in here, which actually looks really, really cool. You guys can see here, we've already got all of this set up right here. We've got roles set up as well, and this is perfect template for a 5M RP server. So let's just hit create here and let's see what we can get. And there you guys go. Here's our RP Discord server. It actually looks pretty good already. We just need to do some configuring and things like that. Like we can sort out all these channels and I think we've already got roles set up for us here. Yeah, we have. So we've already got like our owner roles, supporter roles, pretty much everything we need. Founder, map, and so tons of things here. It's going to be really, really useful as well. And we can also add our own roles if we wanted to. Maybe we want to add some roles for like LEO and things like that. So they have their own channels to communicate in. But I think the best bet is to go through here and start configuring it and making it so when we get people to join, it will actually look pretty good. Okay, so next, I just went through configuring our Discord server and I set some roles and things like that. It shouldn't be too difficult to be fair to get that up and going, but I think we need to actually promote it. So I think the best way to do this from what I've seen is to actually hop into places like Reddit and places like Discord communities and things like that and just promote the hell out of the Discord server. Maybe start off not whitelisted if you guys don't know what that is. It's basically like not letting your people in the server. I think that's probably a good idea. We'll start it off so anyone can join and we'll promote it in pretty much all the Reddit channels. So we'll see if we can get maybe like a, like a yeah, 5M, 5M community. Yeah, here we go. We've got a bunch of things here, like 5M community servers. We can promote it in here and I reckon we should be able to get someone to join. Hopefully, there we go. There's a perfect one right here, 5M advertisement. And also we'll go into some Discord channels and see if we can promote them through that. Okay, so I left it some time. I promoted the hell out of the 5M server and the Discord server on Reddit and on Discord servers, trying to get some people into it. I did it for like two hours or so. And these are the results. Yeah, we got absolutely no one.